Welcome to our tutorial on the spline command. Let's activate the spline command. The spline definition dialog window opens. I want to create a spline which connects these two lines and goes through all these points. First, let's select the points. As you see, I missed a point deliberately. It should follow point number two. The corresponding numbers you see in our dialog definition window. You can also mouse over the point to see its name. We can see here point number three. Okay, let's select point three in our definition window and we'll enable the add point after option. We'll select the missing point. It joins our spline in the correct order and we click OK. Let's run an analysis now. Select View, Toolbars, Analysis Toolbar. Let's select the Curve Connect Checker. Under Analysis Type, select Tangency. Select this line and hold down the Control key and select the spline. As you can see, we've got a tangency discontinuity of 106 degrees. Next, Let's do a curvature analysis. I have a curvature discontinuity of 200%. I'm going to cancel out of this. Let's double click on spline.1. We'll highlight point 6 and click on this line. Now you can see we have a tangency and a tension value of 1. Let's click OK and activate the curve checker again. Let's select tangency. Select the line and control select the spline. Now we have a zero degree reading. In other words, we do have tangency. Let's do a curvature check. We still show a 200% curvature discontinuity. Let's cancel out of the curve connect checker. We'll double click on our spline. Let's click show parameters. With point six selected, Select Curvature from the Continuity drop-down menu. We see that it appears right here in the Curvature column. Now let's click OK and run the Curve Connect Checker again. Select the line, Control select the spline, and now we have good results. We have a 0% curvature discontinuity. Let's check the tangency now. We show tangency between these two elements as well. OK, let's cancel out of this. Let's double click on spline.1 again. Click Show Parameters. We will adjust the tension with these arrows a little bit. Click OK. Now let's bring up the axis system. I'm going to create a line. Let's right click on point 1, select Create Point. Under the X value, we're going to enter a value of minus 120, tab. Under the Y value, 100, tab. Click OK. Now right click on point 2, select Create Point. Let's enter 0 in the Y value. Tab, OK, and OK again. Now let's double click spline 1. Select point 3. Select this line. And let's expand show parameters. Under constraint type, select explicit. Click on this arrow to change the direction. You see that the tendency of the spline to this point is parallel to this line. Let's say if I select this line, the tangency here is parallel to this line. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the spline command.